Thank you so much for staying on the AM show. Let me now welcome my guest, Apostle Sefa Squashi, and we're going to talk about the invasion Ghana Recover. That's it. Good morning to you, sir. Great to have you here. Good morning, madam. How are you? I'm doing well. And uh, we'll be talking more about this uh, in Invasion 2022, but I'm more interested in why the theme is Ghana Recover. Ghana Recover because uh, um, everybody has something that he has lost. Mm. Uh, there's a lot of issues about life applications that in life you can lose something. You can lose a loved one, you can lose a business, you can lose a wife, you can lose a wife, you can lose your education. But that doesn't mean that all is gone. You know, life is all about rising. Mm. When you fall, mm. you can rise again. Okay. You know, apparently one thing one has to realize is that there is one thing to fall, another thing to rise. So Ghana recover, it means that even as a nation, we need a recovery. Mm. As an individual, we need a recovery. Mm -hmm. As a family, we also need a recovery. A recover is one of the most important thing that could happen to a mankind. Because God himself, when he created the heavens mm -hmm. and the earth, the Bible said the, the earth was formless and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. So there was a need to recover that which was lost. I hope you're getting inspired this morning. Eh? It's <laughs> just that vibe. We need it, oh, yeah, you know, because sure, there, sure. there are a lot of things that uh, yeah. we aren't too excited about in the country at this point. But um, tell us how long this event will last and how people can be a part it's of it. It's going to take off from the 3rd of November to the 7th of November. That's just about five-day uh, program. And it's going to happen live at the, uh, you know, uh, Independence, Independence Square. Square. That is a blaster square. Some call it like that. So it's going to happen there live. It's five days. Five days. Wow. We have optional programs and among others. Okay. And uh, that is to say that some people would say, "Oh, what is Ghana invasion or Ghana re Ghana invasion recover 2022?" It's all about a man God has ordained mm. to be a blessing to the whole nation. And that is in the person of our own senior prophet, Jeremiah Omotufufu, my father, my mentor, my coach in life. He's coming to actually do that work that God has assigned him to do in our nation, Ghana. And, and for those of you who don't know him, um, maybe we can just, while we are talking, scroll that art that played before we came into the studio so that you see the personality behind the five-day event that Mr. Kashi is here promoting. And I, I'm sure you've seen him on social media. I know him because I've seen a couple of videos oh, where you he's know giving out, not personally, okay. I know him on social media. Okay. Um, I've seen some videos of him giving out money to, to readers. Yeah, just to say this, you've said it all. Just recently, something happened in Nigeria. There was a flood victims, huge one. Flood heated some you know, tribes of Nigeria. Do you know what happened? I'm just coming from Nigeria you know, to visit, to plan for the program. Is it son? I am going there to rescue these, these victims. Do you know what he did? The government was unable to reach there on time. He went there with his team, the rescue team, bring out all the flood victims from the water. Because some, you know, the water has overtaken their lives. The water, somebody was just up, up, up to their neck. So about 3,000 people were rescued to a place where they have a home of their own now, feeding them three times a day. He's a philanthropist. Mm. He's a man God has ordained to be a blessing to the whole world. And just to say he's coming to Ghana and not to himself, but to be a blessing to you mm. and me. Mm. And apart from philanthropy, uh, there was this other video uh, involving two major actresses in Nigeria who had an issue and he solved them. So I, I, I don't know him personally, but I think I also see him as a man of peace. Yeah, he's a man of peace. He respects the government. He's a man who always respects authority. Because the Bible said that all should submit to authority. He loves peace. And the Bible said that if it will come from us, let us live at peace with all, with all men. And that is who my father, Senior Prophet Jeremiah, Omotu Tufufue, mm. is all that there is about. All right. Yes. So is, is this a paid for event? No, it's not a paid for event. It's a free, it's a free to, you know, it's a free to, a free to ground crusade. Everybody can come. Men and women, children, anybody from all over the world, 
It's not something that you have to come and pay. The free, the, the program is free. So we should all. just walk in. Just walk in. Just walk in to the Independent Square mm -hmm. from the 3rd of November to the 7th of mm -hmm. November. And we have optional programs. Yes, yeah, so are there Maybe, aspects that require yes, registration? Yes, yeah, like you, yes, that one requires some level of uh, regulations and order. Because it's not everybody, he'll be very tired. Maybe you want to see him 101, like how I'm sitting down with you and talking. Mm -hmm. You want to have a talk with him and interact with him. That is optional. Okay. You have chosen to go that way. But the actual program that has to do with deliverance, salvation, prophecy, delving into your background to tell you why you are going through this marital uh, you know, challenge, why you're going through this financial fall, you know, fall down or whatever, that one is free. Everybody can come and receive. Mm. And let me tell you something. There are two prone approaches to this thing. Some people have a lot of issues about how to receive from men of God. As he's coming, there are two categories of people. One category of people, when you go to Matthew chapter 8, verse 8, the Bible said there was a centurion whose servant was sick. And uh, apparently he came to Jesus and said, please, sir, can you heal my son? And Jesus said, let me go to your house. And the centurion said, you don't need to go to my house. Just send a word. And as soon as the Lord spoke the word, the servant was healed. Mm. And another person was a woman that was having the issue of the blood. Mm. And she said, if only I can touch the helm of his garment, I shall be made whole. She was also made whole after touching the helm of his garment. So you, you know what? There are two categories of people. Mm. There are some who have a faith. Once I step into the arena, I just hear his voice. I am okay. There are another category of people who said, I want to see him one on one. I want to touch him. I want to touch him. <laughs> okay. They are all allowed. It's just about level of your faith. Mm. It's all allowed. However you have couched your faith, that matter, it doesn't really matter. Just come. Whatever way you want it, God is there to meet you at the point of your needs. It's very interesting. Ah, very uh, interesting. Once you're an apostle, let me just throw this in. So there are those who say that, you know, you say Ghana recover, you've been through a lot. They say, why are you spiritualizing everything? These are, these are physical heart. I mean, one plus one is two. If the person is struggling in their business, maybe they're not following the right procedures and so they're not getting the I right mean, returns. No, I will not even let you to life. You see, life is spiritual. <laughs> okay. Life is spiritual because you are spirit, you have a soul, and then you live in the body. That is how there is about the source of you is spiritual. Mm -hmm. When you and your husband you meet, there is a C release called uh, spermatozoa. Mm -hmm. It's in biology. And the prototype of that type is, is spiritual. You don't see. You just have a feeling and becomes a human being. You are a spirit. You have a soul and then you live in the body. So is your business. So is your business. Everything you see here, all these electronics, they have a source. And the source is from the spirit. And the Bible says, Christ prayed and said, My Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. As it is in heaven. So whatever we are seeing here. So is every problem spiritual? Not every problem is spiritual. Okay. Some problems are not spiritual. But majority are spiritual. Because problems emanate from the spirit. God is a man of peace. He's a man of perfection. Anything you're going through may have an iota of a spiritual connotation. But I cannot say all is spiritual, but majority of them is spiritual. Okay. I just had to put a puzzle question on the spot. But because you're talking about people recovering and we need to understand how some of these things work. So just a, a, a quick reminder, um, this is happening at the Independent Square or Black Star Square, whichever you prefer to use. And it's from the 3rd, from the 3rd to the 7th of, of November. November. Is it a morning and evening event? Or we are going to have, uh, you can see there now, we okay, have 4 p.m. each night. 4 p.m. each night. That is it. Recover is very essential, my dear. A young man played a football away home, has a scratch. His whole bones came out on the verge of dying. My father came to home here. That was last two years ago. Not knowing it was spiritual, it was an attack, an attempt to just amputate the leg of the boy. But after he encountered him, the boy recovered. Some have issues with their marriage. You don't know it's a source. That is the foundation. There are altars that fight us, our homes, our children, and whatever. You need to recover. Some in their business, they don't reach up to a particular level. You go to a particular level, you calm down. There is something wrong with your family. You have to recover. Some in their health. They go to hospital. They go to left and right. They've gone to herbalists and all over. But the problem still remains the same. You need to recover. Recovery is essential. Because the Bible says that it shall come to pass in that day. 
that her eye shall break off his yoke of your leg. And that time is now. What a great way to wrap. I wish we could go on because uh, as a person is talking, I have. So, so it's, almost no, like it's, saying, it's almost like saying that just like the woman with the issue of blood, if you try every physical thing and it doesn't work, then your problem is like yeah, You spiritual. are preaching. You are preaching. Apparently, this woman has done everything. Okay. She went to the herbal. The Bible says she tried all and failed, but she heard the name of Jesus. Passing. She took a decision and right. said, if I could touch the helm of his garment. I don't know why you are waiting. Viewer out there, I don't know what you are waiting. You have tried all. Why don't you try the God of my father? Master Jesus, he has the key. <laughs> it's an interesting morning here on the AM show. And I've been speaking to Apostle Sephas Kwashi promoting that event from the 3rd to the 7th of November. Right here in Accra with Senior Prophet Jeremiah Omoto Fufeng. I hope I got it right. You got it Nigerian right. You got friends. it right. And it's, the theme is Discover to Recover All. And uh, don't forget, there are some numbers to call if you have any inquiries, because uh, we, we are told that this is a free to attend event, um, but there are aspects of it that may require some form of registration. So just call 054 089 8202 or 059 892 4929, and all your inquiries will be addressed. Thank you once again, Apostle Sephora. Thank you, Mother. I'm sure some of you are inspired because we are in really troubling times and people need a message of hope. Yeah, yeah, thank they, you yeah, thank you, sir. I uh, do, do you want to give them a message of hope to wrap up? A message, message that I want to say, I just want to pray with all our viewers. Wherever you are, I just want to say that your tomorrow begins today. And whatever you haven't achieved yet, as you trust in God and do the right thing, it will surely manifest. I pray that let all your expectations turn into manifestation in Jesus. Let me be the first to receive that. Amen. Amen. All right. And on that note, we take a quick breather. When we come back, we'll bring you more on the show and as well get interactive with you. Do stay.